Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Shannon and this is the 27th episode of the Stitch With Love podcast. I am a knitter and a crocheter coming to you from Palmerston North, New Zealand. Apologies for the lighting, typical palmy weather. It is just gone four o'clock and it's dark. I've had the lights on all day. It stopped raining, it was really loud. But it stopped raining, which is nice. So I'm recording now, but it's still really dark. And it's been this dark all day. We just make it work. So I do have my lamp on, because otherwise, no one's gonna be able to see anything. So, including me, because I can't see very well when it's dark. So yeah. Um, another apology. Last week's episode went up really, really late. <laughs> like, it went up yesterday. Uh, hmm. I'm going to try start because I know with YouTube you can set it to upload in advance. And I think I'm going to start trying to do that. So I'm recording on Saturday. The idea is that I will edit it today, set it to upload tonight, and it will go up tomorrow morning. So you'll get two you'll get two episodes this week because. I never got around to publishing the last one until yesterday, so, but yeah, it's, it, it is up, but it just means you get two this week. Um, yeah, announcement wise, I think that's it. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, I'm really tired. It's been a long week. Oh. Right, so, this week has been not overly eventful, it's been so it's holiday program here and I thought that would mean I would have lots of time to knit and uh, there were some days I mean I don't think there was no days last week that I left work on time or that I didn't have to go back no days at all last week it was so ridiculous it was so annoying but hey that's part of the job, right? Um, it, Cause even though I technically I clocked out, I had stuff to clean up and, or things to sort out before I went and it, yeah. Or I had to come back cause there was a staff member who was sick. And yeah, it just, or I had to go get whipped cream for an activity cause we ran out. So yeah. Uh, so there's not as much knitting as I would have liked, but I have done a decent amount. Uh, so I will start, because it's out. <laughs> I'll start with this. This is the wrap shawl. Oh, I guess it's going to be more of a wrap. Once it's blocked out and everything. That I'm making for my sister-in-law. Um, I worked on a little bit of it. Not too much. <sighs> Realised I left a project in the other room. I'll go get it. But that's alright, I'll get it later. Because um, I do technically have a half finished object, but we can do that after. Um, so this is what I'm making for my sister-in-law. It's got this leaf pattern. This is the yarn and the pattern that she chose. Like the stitch pattern. I'm not following a pattern for this. I, yeah. So, there's, there's no pattern for me to link. Um, and the yarn I'm using is Roxy Fibers uh, four ply in bejeweled. So she's not actually she doesn't actually have this one anymore. The closest one is Bright Jewels on Trust four ply, uh, which I will link below. But this particular colorway, be bejeweled, on this color on this space is no longer available. So, but I'll link Bright Jewels below. It's just slightly brighter. I think she said. Um, but very similar, very, very similar. Um, I'm using two skeins, I'm alternating. I'm using 3.75mm knitting needles. Oh my gosh. And yeah. So, that is how this is coming along. Very slow, but I've picked it up again now that my love note is done completely, 
it was done in time for Fiber Fest, which was great. Um, if you want to know more about Fiber Fest, go back, watch the video before this, um, where I talk about it. Uh, I didn't get a chance to, well, did get a chance to record, I forgot to record, so there's no footage, but I talk about it, and I'll show you what I got. So, if you're interested in that, go back to episode 26. Um, I'll try and remember to leave a card. I think it flips, so it'll be like, I, I, I don't, I think the camera flips. I don't know. Somewhere on the top of the screen. <laughs> um, yeah. Not too much more I can say about this. We're getting there. Um, I'm hoping to work on it a bit more now that I'm... Oh, I've got some that's kind... I've got one that's kind of got a deadline. Like, in the sense of it's a charity project, so I want to get it off. But I'll show you that in a minute. So, yeah. There's that wrap. Uh, the next one is my, now I don't know if I'm going to be able to pronounce this right, oh my gosh, my yarn is tangled and everything, um, it's the Trescao, Trescao Jumper by Along Avec Anna, Along Avec Anna, oh lula, um, this is where I'm up to, uh, <laughs> as you can see I haven't done too much last week. Well, I say last week when I recorded, but it only went up Friday. Last episode, I had just done the neck band, which is this garter here. So I've done the short row, like the, um, the I think it's the back. She like has short rows in the back. Um, and I've started doing the wrangling. Rank, blah, 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 words. Words are not working for me today. That's okay. Slow it down. Um, I'm working the raglan increases at the moment. Which is these lovely eyelets. Uh, it's the pattern so far. So obviously I'm not very far through it. Um, it's written a bit differently to how I'm used to reading patterns. But I've been able to... Like, it makes sense. Um, it's also a free pattern, which is amazing. Um, pardon me. Uh, yeah. I'm using, so, I use 3.75mm needles for the neckband, and I'm currently using 4mm, my Caspian wood. Interchangeables. This is some Spotlight Melon yarn that I need to use up. Um... I like the colour, and it's not too bad to knit with, but it is acrylic, so if you don't like acrylic, you might not like the melons, because like 90% of them are acrylic. You can only get them in store, though, at Spotlight, if you're in Australia or New Zealand. If you're elsewhere, I don't think you can get them, because you have to go into Spotlight stores. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention... Um, this is the bag that my wrap is living in. It's from Spotlight. I don't know what it's called, but I got it on sale. <laughs> and my jumper is currently living in my ro Ooh! my Rosea by Lily project bag. Uh, this is probably the like when it comes to these types of project bags. This is the oldest one I have. Um, it's the first one I got, and I love it. So yeah, it all lives in here, which is nice. Um, this has been really fun to work on. It is getting rather large. You'll see it has stoppers because I this also is using 4mm so I'm having to change the needles over from my jumper to the shawl. This is my Simple Gifts shawl by D. O'Keefe. It is rather large now. Um, yeah. So I've got a couple more repeats of this pattern to go and then I'll be doing the border. So we're almost there. Which is very exciting. This is another Mel End yarn. This is a cotton or cotton blend, I think, just from the feel of it. Um, it doesn't say on the Mel End bags. You just get what you're given. Um, lovely stitch definition though. So, um... Yeah, 
This would be quite nice in like the summer and things like that in the spring. But it gets a bit warmer here. It's relatively warm today, pardon me. Ooh. It's relatively warm today, but it's not been. We've had negative threes this week, so. Yeah. Uh, and it's living in my project bag by Knitbits, which I got from Capital Fiber Fest. Um, that's the lining. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, yeah. So, that is coming along. Um, I haven't worked on my Caledonia cow, so I won't show you that. Um, in this old, it's relatively old, it's got, somehow got curry on it. Um, bag from Hobium. Ooh. This is a crochet project, which we haven't seen for a little while. Um, seen lots of knitting, not very much crochet. Uh, this is a beautiful shells blanket, baby blanket. So this is my charity project. Uh, the yarn I'm using is uh, Stylecraft Special DK. So I've got three colours of that going. Um, using a four, oops, a four millimetre hook. And yeah, it's quite nice to work on while I'm doing dinner because. I find crochet a lot easier to put down if I'm in the middle of a round than knitting. So, yeah, it's coming along quite nicely. Um, yeah, so that's my charity project. So I've been working on that as well. I've worked on that quite a bit this week, which is nice. Now, I have something else. So I forgot to bring, so I'm going to go get that. Right, I am back. Um, so the last project I'll be talking about today is my socks. Now, I've got one finished aside from ends. Uh, I've put it on a sock blocker. Now, I, I got these uh, off AliExpress. They're not very good. I need to get some new ones. So I don't know if it's just these are bad sock blockers. Um, it looks really weird on the blocker, actually. Um, and I know these are a little bit too big for me. I did the medium size. Um, so they are a little bit baggy on me. I think they look better off the blocker, actually. Um, so my next pair, I'm going to go down a size. Um, I'm going to go down to the small size in the pattern. I'm following Crazy Sock Lady's uh, Vanilla Socks on Magic Loop pattern. Um, so I've got one. And then in here, I started yesterday my second one. Um, so because these are quite big, they're probably just going to be like house socks. Um, which is fine. Uh, before my first pair of socks, oh my gosh, I promise I'm not bored, I'm just really, really tired. Um, I've already had a nap today, I, don't, I shouldn't have another one. Um, yeah, so, I can't remember what I was saying now. Oh yeah, for my first pair, my first socks in... Five years. It's not too bad. I learned how to kitchen a stitch yesterday. That was exciting. Um, yeah. So I have a sock. Um, I was very excited when I kitchened this off yesterday because I, I knit um, cuff down. Um, yeah. So that's exciting. Um, yeah. This yarn is, I got from an op shop. Probably last year, I think. Um, so I can't link it. It's not normally my colour, but for trial socks, it, it's again, it's worked out really well, and I'll probably just use it as house socks. 
Um, not that people really see my socks anyway. It doesn't really matter, but um, yeah. So my sock. Um, needles. I forgot needles. Um, da, da, da. These are... Oh my gosh. Addy Fix Circulars on 32 inch. These are 2.25mm needles. Um, I'm having a bit of an issue with the cable though, with it kinking and stuff, which is annoying. Um, I'm looking at trying to get some chow goos. I just haven't got any yet. So yeah. There's my sock. Um, so that is all the knitting, I think, for this week. Seems like such a short episode. Um, I don't, I haven't bought anything, so there's no, there's no acquisitions. <laughs> um, the only thing that's really happened this week is work, which, work is something else at the moment. There's now some drama going on, and quite frankly, I'm a little bit over it. Um, yeah. It's times like this where I could just stay, wish I could stay home and knit all day, I'm pretty sure we all do, um, but times like this especially, but I'm just over it. I'm so done. thing is, I work with a group of adults, but sometimes it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> um, just, uh, I don't even know. Um, let's put it this way. Communication sucks, um, and it's frustrating. And confusing for everyone. Um, yeah. It's just not... Oh great, um, but hey, at the moment it's the weekend so I'm not on the clock and so I'm going to knit and deal with my house and not work, <laughs> um, at least not my day job. Um, yeah, I can't think of what else, yeah, it's said like dream wise, obviously I want to, as I said I want to get some chow goos. I want to get some more stitch markers because I seem to keep losing them and I don't even know how um, and there's a couple of skis if you are oh sorry oh this is what happens when you look after other people's kids um I don't even have my own so be worse when I have my own um but, yeah, I'm trying to think. Oh my gosh, my memory. My memory's gone completely all over the place. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of skeins of yarn that I kind of want to get as well, but I did just go to Capital Vibe Fest and spend a decent amount there, so I'm trying to hold out. <laughs> trying to hold out. Um... Yeah, I think that's it for this week, to be perfectly honest. It's quite a short episode. Um, but I don't see the point of me just blabbering on just for the sake of making an episode longer. So um, so I'm probably going to wrap it up there. Plus it's getting even darker than it was. Because we're getting, getting closer to five now. So, And I need to start dinner. Because I'm hungry. And John's hungry because he told me... That he's thinking about what's happening there. So I'm gonna start some food, I think. Maybe get myself a coffee. And I'm going to knit away for a little bit. Um so yeah, I'm gonna get this edited and set to upload tonight. It should go up tomorrow morning. Fingers crossed, everything goes well. Um so yeah. That is all for this week. Um, as I said, not been too much knitting because I, if, I one didn't get home from work on time any day, and two, when I got home, I slept for a good couple of hours, and even then, I'm still exhausted. So you know, we just we just keep going. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. If you like this episode, please leave me a like please subscribe so that you don't miss future episodes 
to everyone who has already subscribed, thank you so much. And to everyone who watches my videos, I really appreciate you. Um, I really, really do. Uh, please feel free to leave me comments below what you're working on. Um, I had a couple of comments this morning and it really, it made my day. It was so lovely. Uh, so please tell me what you're working on. Um, I would love to hear from you guys. I will also leave my social media and my Ravelry down below. Um, and yeah, until next time. So I will see you guys. Well, not see you guys, talk to you guys next week. Um, should be next Saturday slash Sunday. Provided it all goes well. Um, got one more week of holiday program left. So we'll see how we go. Um, but it should be. Um, that, that that's my plan anyway um yeah so until then take care i hope what you are working on is bringing you some joy and i will see you next time bye guys